Hey team, welcome back to Black Bar Barbecue. Today, we're doing a personal favorite of mine, chimichurri chicken. We're gonna make a beautiful chimichurri sauce. We're gonna stuff it, mix it with butter, stuff it underneath the skin of this chicken, and we're gonna cook it out on the rotisserie on the egg. It's gonna be great. Let's get to it. So chimichurri, for those of you who don't know, is this herby sauce that's made up of cilantro, parsley, garlic, shallots, and something spiced, a little red wine vinegar. And you can kind of dress it up or dress it down however you like. I'm gonna go with kind of a rough chop for these veggies because we're gonna mix it with butter. Um, I need this sauce to be pretty uh, fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the stick blender when we're done. I usually use flat leaf parsley. Today all we could get was curly parsley, but that's perfectly okay because we are going to hit it with the stick blender. This might be one of the only acceptable uses for curly leaf parsley. Before we hit it with the stick blender, we're gonna go in with a couple glugs of red wine vinegar. Some fresh cracked black pepper. pinch of salt, and we're gonna go in with a little olive oil. As we're blending this with the stick blender, I'm gonna fold in some more olive oil. This is where you can really determine the consistency of your sauce. I'm gonna have, leave ours kind of pasty because I'm again gonna mix it with some butter that we're gonna put underneath the skin of that chicken. So we've got our chimichurri made. It's this kind of, it's a little bit thicker consistency, which is perfect. I uh, took a subset of it and put it in this bowl. We're gonna dump in our stick of butter and we're just gonna mash this up. We might... Right here, you've just kind of got this like buttery, herby paste. That's perfect for what we're gonna do. Our paste is done. Now we're gonna get started with our chicken. And the reason we're gonna be putting this underneath the skin of the chicken is because too many times I've had a rotisserie chicken where you take one bite of that golden brown skin, pull all the skin off, and then you just got bland chicken underneath. So the idea behind this is we're gonna get some herbs and butter, some salt underneath the skin of this chicken. It's gonna cook and it's gonna help the skin get really crispy, and it's gonna help the uh, meat of this chicken get nice and juicy. So the idea of getting this butter underneath the skin, you see where this, how you can kind of pull this skin back right here and expose the breast a little bit. Not in a dirty way. You're just gonna kind of work your finger underneath here, open up a little pocket. So yeah, you can see my finger underneath the skin. We're not breaking the skin. Just kind of opening up a little hole right here. And now this is not a pretty process, but you just kind of get some, get some on your fingers you can use a spoon if you'd like, but again, we're trying not to puncture the skin of the chicken. I don't think anyone's gonna get mad at you if you get a little bit of this kind of herby butter all over the rest of the chicken too. We are gonna go through the thigh also. We're gonna go in through the back door a little bit. So uh, you don't have to work this down uh, all the way. You can pick up right here and kind of see where you can work down. You can feel where the thigh connects right there. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use this, these entrances to get uh, some of our mixture down onto the thigh and the tail end of this breast. Stuff it down in the cavity because we can't really use this for anything else. That's why we reserved the rest of our chimichurri. So we've got our herb butter chimichurri underneath the skin of our chicken. Now we're gonna truss it just so when we put it on the rotisserie, it's not flopping around everywhere. I wasn't a Boy Scout. I'm not very good at tying knots. This is only gonna be my second or third time trussing a chicken because in the past when I've done this, I have either roasted it, done it on the grill, 
or when I did the last time I did these, I did not truss it and it got kind of stuff was flopping around. So I recommend trussing it. I'm not very good at it. I watched a YouTube video to help me figure out how to do this. I'll link it in the description uh, or in the comments. Here we go. We might fast forward through most of this if it's ugly. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> That's why I said I have plenty of these. Got our chicken trust. It was an ordeal for all of us, I know. I'm gonna go pretty simple on the outside of the chicken with some salt, pepper, a little garlic powder. This is a little homemade rub I made up last night. It's just in a hardcore carnivore bottle because that's what I had. I always go pretty light on the you know presentation side which is going to be the breast even though you're cooking we're cooking on the rotisserie so it shouldn't be that big a deal because you're always going to throw off a whole bunch of rub whenever you flip it over so we'll probably do some touch-ups once we get it skewered always get your edges all right let's get this thing skewered Ha ha. Okay, so this is our skewer. I have a Weber rotisserie attachment that fits on my knockoff green egg that I got from Academy. This is the skewer, sword, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've came with two prongs, so I made sure that they're going like that for to help lock the bird in. And now that we've kind of got it skewered, we'll just go over with another like Light coat of rub, we're just trying to make sure we've, because we did probably knock off a whole bunch. In hindsight, probably would have been easier to just season the chicken after we skewered it. But, oh, gotta get the butt. Now we're just gonna let this hang out while we get the fire going. We got this bad boy a couple years ago. The last bowl game I actually played in in college, we were sponsored by Academy. So we got some gift cards use those gift cards to buy this bad boy. It's a knockoff green egg. I think it's Outdoor Gourmet is the brand. This is what we're gonna be using to get our rotisserie set up. <laughs> I can fix this. I saw a pack of these little fire starters at the grocery store when they were out of tumbleweeds, which is what I usually use. And they were a great price, they were a bargain. And now I know why, because they don't like for anything. So easily fixable, we're gonna bring in the big gun. There we go. All right, charcoal's lit, 15, 20 minutes later. Uh, not to burn yourself. Spicy. We're gonna shove over some of these non-lit coals. Let that get happy for a minute. I'm gonna grab some mesquite wood to throw on top. So this is the Weber ring I was talking about earlier. It's a 32 inch ring. It fits on a classic Weber kettle and it's perfect for this Kamado. And all right, so we've got our uh, skewer in. I've got some Pam right here. This is just gonna help the skin crisp up nice and golden brown. We've got our rotisserie going. And we're gonna touch up any bald spots with a little rub. Okay, team, we're about 20 minutes into the cook. Our skin is starting to get nice and crisp. It's even split in a few places where it got pretty hot, and that's fine. The uh, but some of the butter is dripping out over those coals, and it just it smells great. But you are going to get flare up. So the thing I want to note is that you want to try to 
pull your coals to the sides, not directly underneath your chicken, but to the sides. So you can kind of get heat coming up and around the sides and it'll help eliminate flare ups. Our bird's got great color. Our dark meat is getting there. It's probably temping about 165. Our breasts need to catch up a little bit. So what I've done is I've stopped the rotisserie. I've moved the coals over so they're directly under the breast meat. We're just gonna let it hang out a little bit, play catch up. With this style of cooking, manipulating the coals is the fun part and very important to help prevent flare ups and make sure you're getting even cooking. Mmm! Talk to me. That bird looking tasty. Is that a string? Yeah, string's burnt to shit. That'll be okay. We're gonna do a quick recap while this guy's resting. We made a chimichurri sauce, mixed it with butter, stuffed it underneath the skin of this chicken, skewered it on the rotisserie. Uh, it was probably on the grill for an hour and a half, uh, rolling over some lump charcoal and mesquite wood, looking beautiful. If you don't have a rotisserie, you can easily follow this same recipe and cook the bird in the oven, on the smoker, on the grill, however you wanna set it up, just make sure you're not going too hot and make sure you're hitting 165 in the breast and 175 in the thigh to be safe. I'm gonna break the bird down now using this big cleaver that my buddy, the Crooked Butcher sent me on Instagram. He's a butcher out in North Carolina. He's got a bunch of Wagyu, great guy. The best part about this big cleaver is I don't have to be exact. I can just find generally where I'm trying to go. And then you can just press down. Got their thighs out. Oh, these wings are just pulling apart. Sorry, I had to get a little board snack for, me, for myself right there. Yeah. We did good. Okay. From here, I'll take this. I'm gonna go down. I'm just gonna separate off this bottom carcass. There's still plenty of good meat. Gotta get these oysters out. And now this just kind of turns into like any other rotisserie chicken. You just kind of shred it and pull it apart and get a little piece of that skin. Mmm! It's buttery, it's juicy. Can't ask for better. Golly! I just showed you how to, the laziest way to break down a whole chicken with a big old cleaver, go right through those bones. Let's see how we did. Definitely been eyeing this little piece of breast meat. It's got the skin on there, got some chimichurri butter underneath, a little bit of everything. You know, when I eat something, when I, when I go to a nice restaurant, I expect it to punch me in the face with flavor. I want it, it can be as simple as you want, it just better be good. This is it. This is delicious. It's better than any rotisserie chicken from the store I've ever had. I just love it. Like these wings, they just come right off the bone. The chimichurri is beautiful. I think I've got stuff all over my face. You guys got to try this out. It's a little, the process might be a little messy. If you know a better way to get that herb butter underneath the skin, go for it. But the biggest thing here is your breast meat is moist, juicy, well seasoned, even when the skin comes off it, just like this piece right here. That's Jam Up. This is Blackmar Barbecue. Thank you for watching.